G'day, I'm Boz from Bluey Security Australia, and I'm going to show you how to download, install, and set up the Smart PSS software for your Dawa security system. First of all, you're going to need to go to the Dawa wiki and download the actual application. There's a link for that in the description below. When you're on the wiki, you'll see that you can download it for Windows and Mac as well. So let's do the Windows version today. So once that's downloaded, you're going to need to extract that. So right click on it and select extract all. Once that's extracted, run the actual setup application. You'll need to run this as an administrator. So if you haven't got the admin username and password for your computer or you're not an admin on your computer, you'll need to get that or some help. Click yes to run the program. Agree to the terms, select next. Now, unless you're going to use your computer as a recording device, you don't need to install the storage service. Just install Smart PSS. So untick storage service and click next. Choose where you want to install the application. I'll just leave it on default if you like and click install. Now, once that's installed, tick the box that says run Smart PSS and click finish. Now, the first time you open the application, it's going to ask you to set a password. This password is just used to log into Smart PSS. You can set it if you like, which will make it more secure. So if someone was to sit down at your terminal or your computer or laptop, they're not going to be actually able to run Smart PSS without logging on first. For most people, that's annoying. So you can actually just uh, set the password you like and tick the auto login after registration box down the bottom there. Now, you need to set a reasonably strong password has to be at least eight characters long. Once you've set that, tick auto login after registration and click next. Now, these are some security questions as well. You can enter those as appropriate and then click finish. Once you've got the application up and running, we can connect some devices to add a system to Smart PSS, click the plus add button at the top. Give the device a name. So in this case, just call it my system. Uh, here, you're going to choose a method to add. So it's either going to be an IP address or domain name or serial number. In most cases, you're going to be setting up with a serial number. Enter your username and password as well. and then click add. After a few moments, you'll see that it actually connects to the system and the status will change to a green dot and say online. Now that you're online, you can actually connect and see the cameras live and do playback if that's what your account allows you to do so. From the main application, just click the plus icon at the top and that lets you open a new tab, which can be either Live View or Playback. So let's start with Live View. Click on Live View. You'll see the system you've added down the left-hand side here. If you expand it, you'll see every camera that's connected to the system. In this case, the system here just has one camera on it. So you can actually click and drag that particular camera to view it live, or you can actually click and drag the entire system over, and it will connect every camera that's connected to the system to your Live View. To expand the view of the camera, double click. And to return to the multi-view, double click again. Now, if you wanted to do some playback, just open a new playback tab. So go to the top, click the plus, select playback. That's now gonna open a playback tab. Once you're here, again, you'll see every system that you're logged into and every camera that is on that system. So if I wanted to do some playback from this camera, I have to always first select the camera, then there's a calendar box here. So here you can choose the start and end date. But just say we want to see every piece of footage from today. Just leave it on the default and hit search. This shows me everything that's been recorded on this camera today. Now, this camera has only just been connected for an hour or so. That's why there's only a little bit of footage there. If you scroll your mouse over the top of the time bar, you can actually zoom in and out. Now, if you click anywhere on the time bar, it will start playback. You'll see the green represents permanent recording. Uh, the yellow represents motion detection. 
and the orange color represents smart detection. So in this case, it's, it's detecting people and vehicles. If I want to take a backup of a recording, the first thing you want to do is click on the timeline at the start of where you want to save your clip from. So say we wanted to start a clip from two o'clock, click there, then click the scissors. That marks the start point of the clip. And we want to go until here. Click on there as well. And this represents the end of the clip that you want to save. Hit the scissors again. It's now going to prompt you where you'd like to save the backup of that clip. You just leave it as the default or choose, you know, your desktop or downloads folder, whatever you want. From here, this is important. You want to choose the export format. I find the best video quality is either MP4 or ideally original format. If you choose the original format, it'll also give you a player so you can actually play back the original file. But the player looks very similar to Smart PSS and lets you do further backups and snapshots from there. So once you've selected the format you want, click OK. Now it's going to give you a warning saying because you're playing back and you're trying to back up at the same time, it's going to stop playback. That's OK. Just press OK. Now that clip is now saving to your hard drive. That's a basic overview of getting up and running with Smart PSS. If you have any specific questions, uh, drop us a comment down below. If this video has helped you at all, uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. And be sure to check us out at bluey.com.au. Thanks for watching.